in the group okay so somehow if you couldn't download the files and on the wechat and files are expired please do not message in the group that sir repost that one i have already uploaded on the db you can go to the blackboard and download over there so don't show that you are very you are not interested in this course it's very disrespectful you you know pinning out of to the teacher sir upload again upload again upload again okay so do me a favor whenever i upload the lecture on wechat at least download in your mobile phone or somewhere right or you have the option to go to the blackboard and download anytime okay done okay anything you want to talk about or anything still you know confusing or you want to ask something please do ask if everything is clear please say everything is i we understand everything is clear to now mirko karanan mm -hmm. Uh, that's clear. That's clear. So, but just a question: principles of economics by Monkey is uh, from uh, 2004. It's third edition. Yes, I would be sending you the. Okay. It's okay, okay, okay. Okay. So you don't need Thanks. to buy that one. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, okay. We have it, and I would be sending you its chapters by chapter. Whatever we learn, I would be sending its reading material, and I would be uploading. By the way. all the book chapters are already uploaded to blackboard but i would be also uploading time to time on our wechat so for example today we learn we discuss chapter 1 so i would be uploaded chapter 1 to the wechat along with your today's ppts okay so the for material don't worry about that for ppts don't worry about that for understanding don't worry about that all you need to do just to grasp the knowledge digest the knowledge and apply the knowledge when the situation comes when question comes just apply the knowledge okay let's start our chapter 1 which is 10 principles of economics so this is uh, the introduction of economics so we will be will be learning economics economics include both micro and macro okay both so one branch is micro and one branch is macro we will be talking about the difference here and also we will be talking about uh, in our next coming lectures purely micro so before going into the jumping into you know diving into the 10 principles of economics first of all let's talk about some basic concepts so that before that whenever these kind of terminologies comes to your mind so what does it mean when it comes to economics so every subject has its own jargons its own language right so resources in economics we call anything that have value economic value in monetary terms right for example like gold building land laptop mobile phones right cars so all those services that your mom are doing like cooking washing your clothes you know reciting you uh, very nice uh, you know poems when you go to bed all these are free services you are not paying to your mom to do that right it means that are not resources only service in the house she is cleaning the house your mom is cleaning the house that is not a resource why because you are not paying to your mom mother you cannot convert I know, I know. services into economic value right right but i am i am what about the service in the restaurant well done so if somebody else is cooking for you you have to pay like you hire a maid or cook or chef in your house you are paying when you are paying what does it mean it has economic value it is a resource similarly the sunshine right so if this tube light is there that uses energy plus i spent some money to buy that tube light the led bulb that is a resource what about the sunshine you didn't pay for that 
right so that is not a resource right guys similarly services of a housewife is not resource due to its free nature also the air in which we breathe until some measures are taken for example you are breathing and you install purification right the o2 oxygen is free for everyone but if it's in cylinder and you buy from for the hospital or something that is a resource because you pay money right guys that is a resource yes. and what do we mean by economy economy is coming from a greek word called oikonomos which means one who manages household right so in fact household and economies these two are different economies and economy are different economy means the person who is managing the household so a person who is managing the household has common something common between the economies as well for example in household we have some kind of decisions some kind of rules who cooks dinner who is uh, going outside to earn the livings right who is eligible to you know um, for cleanliness for decision making just like similarly in a society a society must decide what jobs will be done who will do them like who will grow food how many person will be working in banking industry how many person will be you know will be in it nuclear scientist in army personnel right how much would be cabinet how many you know different uh, we can say uh, the uh, ministers right so the how so we have similarity between our household and we can apply this household concept to the overall economy right so the father of economics alfred marshall he states that economy is a study of mankind in ordinary business of life in simple words economy is a group of people interacting with one another as they go about their lives what does it mean hey what a nice car where you bought that if i have the if i have the capacity i would buy that one oh where did where did you buy that watch oh where do you eat where did you shop right where is a cheaper market where is expensive market where is good quality market okay where is the bank uh, how much is which bank i should save my money so you are interacting with people and you are creating an economy right so now society and scarce resources so remember resources are always limited scarce scarce means limited right for example i want to have 20 billion dollar can i maybe but can i right now i have unlimited wants but my resources are limited okay i want to have my private rocket even though i am a billionaire i want to have my private you know rocket i want to go to the mars your wants are unlimited but resources are limited right even the richest person on earth right now the richest person is elon musk right even his wants are unlimited but he has limited resources right you can say that he has billions of dollar more than 250 billion dollar he has he can buy anything but if he wish that he want to go to mars and come back in one day he cannot do that why he can invent this kind of procedure but that takes time and a lot of resources even though then he, if he do that then he don't have resources for his tesla and other spacex and all those other technologies right even then he has to decide how much resources i need to back up for my kids how much resources i need to back up for my personal recreation how much to my business so he has limited choice so wants are unlimited resources are limited so scarcity means society 
have limited resources. Society cannot give all the people, okay, all become farmers. If all become farmers, then who will manage the banks? Who will manage institutions? Who will teach the students, right? Who will run the company? Who will run the government, right? So society must allocate the resources so that you know we optimize not maximize because maximize we cannot do that because everyone has its own wants right and wants are unlimited you can optimize optimize mean until you know according to your budget your best decision that is according to your resources what is the best decision if i have hundred dollar can i say that i i can go to new york by plane the plane ticket is 200 so that is out of my budget so my optimum decision is that either i take taxi or either i take the train fast train that's it so my optimum decision is a maximum decision is that i need to save time i go through airplane but my budget don't allow it then i need to optimize my uh, choices i need to go through train next fast speed train that's it so that is the optimum decision okay so you can optimize you cannot maximize right because you have limited resources so scarcity means society has limited resources and therefore it cannot produce all goods and services that people wish to have wish and wish has unlimited wish or unlimited right right sir may i ask mm. you a question sure just about the recycle so recycle is maximized or not? Which one? Recycle. Recycle. It's not maximized, it's optimized. Oh. Okay. Right, because you cannot dumb, dumb the things because you know, your wish is that if this is a shopping bag, if this is a plastic, I throw it and it will not create pollution. That is your maximum decision. But when you recycle it, Recycle, are you talking about recycle or resource? Recycle. Yes, recycle. When you recycle something, it means you are optimized because there is still technology is improving to minimize the recycle time period, to minimize, you know, from minimum pollution. Maybe in future we have different technology which can recycle in matter of seconds rather than matter of days with efficient technology with minimum cost, right? So this is optimization. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, sir yes. just a question. So we can consider also time as a resource. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. time is not free. Even though you are sitting idle, even though you are sitting idle, so you are wasting other opportunities. You can, mm -hmm. at minimum, you can be a bartender or you can be a waiter in a restaurant yeah, yeah. or in Starbucks. You, you could have earned one you know $25 for one hour right or you can improve yes. your mental you know uh, health or you can spend some money and watch Netflix videos to kill your time still you are paying Netflix for your monthly subscription that is resource right yes okay now let's define economics so economics is the study of how society manages its scarce resources. We define economy. We are now defining economics, right? When we talk about economics, it means how society. When we talk about economy, it means how a household is managed. So there are two different stuff. Economy is like a country stuff. Economy is like a household stuff, right? So economics, basically, sorry, not economies, economics, sorry, my bad, I made a wrong pronunciation. Economics is a study of how society manages its scarce resources. So the thing is, choose between the resources, okay? Whether more from GDP, more resources should be diverted towards agriculture, or services, or high-tech industry, or automobile industry, or medical industry, whatsoever, right? So a country.